Hi all, uh, welcome to another video of the subject DC machines and transformers and uh, based on K2 syllabus and today we are going to discuss the problem based on cross magnetizing and demagnetizing effect. So the first problem is a lap form 4 pole DC generator with 480 conductors in the armature supply 72 ampere current. The brushes are given an actual lead of 12 degree mechanical. Calculate the cross magnetizing Calculate the cross magnetizing ampere tens per pole. So we have to calculate the cross magnetizing ampere tens ATC here. So we know that the equation for ATC is Z IC into 1 by 2P minus theta by 360. Here where Z is the number of conductors and IC is the current per conductor and P is the number of poles and theta is the actual brush lead in mechanical degree. Okay, it is not in electrical degree, it is in mechanical degree. So we have to find uh, all these terms to find ATC. Okay. So, uh, from the question itself, the Z, Z is 480 conductors, okay, Z will be 480, okay, and the current here is 72 ampere, our much supplies the current of 72 ampere, okay, so uh, the, we are taking that our much current IA is 72 ampere, but here IC is the current per conductor, that is current flowing through a conductor, okay, and uh, in the question it is uh, given that it is a lap pound uh, generator, so we know that for a lap on generator the number of parallel path a will be is equal to p so here the number of pole is 4 so number of parallel path will be is equal to 4 so actually all the conductors are arranged in four different parallel paths so okay so for uh, finding the current through a conductor that is current through a parallel path we have to divide the 72 ampere by the number of parallel paths so 72 by 4 we will get as 18 ampere okay and the mechanical degree theta is uh, 12 degree it is given if it is given in terms of electrical degrees okay listen carefully if it is given in terms of electrical degree we have to convert that into mechanical degree using the equation theta electrical is equal to p by 2 number of poles by 2 into theta mechanical we have to use this equation okay so from that theta mechanical will be equal to 2 into theta electrical by p so using that equation we have to find the actual mechanical degree and uh, then only we have to substitute in the actual equation of the cross magnetizing ambient tense pole atc so in the equation if you are substituting the value of theta it should be in mechanical degree okay so it should be uh, noted so uh, we have found all other terms and uh, ATC is equal to is a dice into 1 by 2p minus theta by 360 by substituting the values here we will get as 792 okay and if you are asked to find the demandizing ambient tense also okay in the question itself it is only asked for finding uh, cross magnetizing ambient tense if you are asked to find demandizing ambient tense okay ITD the equation equation is is a dice into theta by 360 okay in this case also we know Z, we know ic we know theta they substitute that values and find the atd okay so that is the first question and the second question is a 250 kilowatt 400 volt 6 pole lap connected armature has 720 conductors it is given a brush lead of 2.5 degree okay it is 2.5 degree here uh, mechanical from its geometrical neutral axis uh, calculate demagnetizing and cross magnetizing ambitance per volt neglect shunt field current okay so here also uh, we have to write the equation first is a dc into theta by 3 c for atd and atc is is a dc into 1 by 2 p minus theta by 360 okay so here is it is it the number of conductors it is given as 720 okay and uh, the ic we have to find the ic the current is not given in the question itself so by using the power and voltage rating we have to calculate the uh, load load current first okay il il can be found using the equation p by v so 250 into 1000 by 400 we will get as 6, 625 ampere okay so uh, it is given that we have to neglect the shunt field current okay so we are just assuming that the load current the load current il is approximately equal to the armature current ia so armature current will also be 725 uh, sorry 625 ampere and the current per conductor that is ic we have to divide that ia with the number of parallel path so here it is a lap connected one and number of parallel path will be equal to number of poles and it is 6 okay so 625 by 6 and the brush lead is 2.5 degree mechanical okay so just substitute uh, in the equation itself and we can find the answers as 521 and 5729 okay and the next question is a four pole generator have 
wave wound armature with uh, 722 conductors and it delivers 100 ampere on full load if the brush lead is 88 degree calculate the armature demagnetizing and cross magnetizing ampere tens per pole okay so here it is a wave wound generator so we know that for a wave wound generator the number of pile path will be a is equal to 2 okay and here the current is 100 so we can find the current per conductor as ia by a that is 100 by 2 okay 100 by 2 it is a wave wound and number of pile path will be equal to 2 so 100 by 2 you will get as 50 ampere and the brush lead theta is 80 degree and just and uh, is said number of conductors is 722 conductors so just substituting the equation and you will get the answer okay in all these cases if the uh, uh, angle is given in terms of electrical degree we have to convert that into mechanical using the uh, previous equation okay as i already mentioned so i hope all of you understand the problem well so thank you